The winter weather did stop uh, the first uh, uh, stop the new Secretary of Defense from his first day on the job. Ashton Carter arrived at the Pentagon at eight this morning to start a whirlwind day. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman is live in our newsroom with the challenges Carter now faces. Scott. Well, there are numerous, Maureen. First day at work for Ash Carter. He's picking up the helm after Chuck Hagel was essentially pressured out. Carter now becomes the fourth defense secretary under President Obama. And as you showed, he came to work despite the fact the federal government was shut down. And understandably, he is walking into a job with countless serious dilemmas, few easy answers. The one grabbing most of the headlines, of course, how to handle the growing threat from Iceland. To what degree do American troops play a role? Also, Ukraine, North Korea, Iran, you've got a daunting list of challenges. Now, he was sworn in this afternoon officially by Vice President Biden. I'm honored to rejoin the men and women of the Defense Department in what is the highest calling, which is the defense of our country. He also met with President Obama, but what to me perhaps is most interesting here was his address to all Department of Defense employees in which he stated, I have pledged to provide the president my most candid strategic advice. I will count on your experience and expertise as I formulate that advice. I'll also ensure the president receives candid professional military excuse me, advice there. His use of the word candid twice, letting staff know that he will be open with his feelings, perhaps even if they are not necessarily in line with what the president is always thinking. Remember, the Obama administration has been criticized for allegedly micromanaging the Pentagon. So it will be interesting to see if it kind of bridges that uh, gap that has been perceived between the White House and the Pentagon. Maureen.